Hey, hey, we're here, Monday Night Raw, and we have a packed show for you tonight. This is Ironsides here at the commentary table, and we are rocking your Monday night, and we are doing it raw. Cannot wait to bring you the show tonight from Louisville, Kentucky. Look at this. I know all about you. I know they say you are the most powerful being in the business. But in all honesty, they are wrong. I am most powerful. And I will prove it to you. Knock at my do door. Who is he talking about? He has a match right now against Buddy Murphy, as you can see. And he started off the show just by talking to us. Whoever he's talking to, it sounded like he means business. And here comes the man from Am Amsterdam. It is Alistair Black. We all know about his uh, background, his upbringing, if you will. His interest in... Um... Well shall we say not so uh and you know what just look at his tattoos it's not exactly uh somebody that you might consider to be a good old christian boy we'll put it that way and here he comes to take on buddy murphy Buddy looks ready. Alistair looks ready. Uh, this man has been said to speak highly of The Undertaker, even though he did not grow up idolizing him like many of us from Texas have. Um, he spoke highly of Undertaker, saying that he paved the way for dark characters like him. He is into, um, well, uh, we'll just say, uh, black arts, for lack of a better term. And you can see by his tattoos that he's very much into, um, all things hellish and demonic. Oh, what a kick by Buddy Murphy. Alistair hits him with a right. For his efforts. And now he's got him in a headlock. Look at this. Wrenching away at his neck. Oh. Murphy counters. Alistair stands right back up though. He goes for the ankle. Oh. But he gets kicked for his uh, efforts. <laughs> Black hits him right back. Picks him up by the arm. Oh. Kicks him in the chin. And Murphy will roll right out. He'll sit down. If you can see what I mean there, um, there's a hint as to what he's into. Oh, oh, oh. working on Buddy Murphy real quick. Picks him up with a body slam. Look at this. Oh, he's taunting him too. Ooh, clothesline. Holy Moses. He will knock the teeth right out of your skull. Well, Alistair Black, he's going top rope. Turning around, moonsault. Oh, but he gets a knee to his... I want to say that was his gut. Maybe his chest. By Buddy Murphy, who throws him into the corner. <laughs> oh, and then buries his face into the lower turnbuckle there. He'll pick him up. Oh, slam him face first into the mat. I, I, I'm shaking, man. I, I don't know. He's talking to somebody. The most powerful being in the business. For many of us, that's Undertaker. But it could also be Kane. It could also be Vince McMahon. I mean, I really don't know. Oh, he missed that move there, though. Did black. But it gets him with the knee. I don't know. Um, 
he shouldn't and I don't think he is, to be honest. He shouldn't um, forget about Buddy Murphy there. His mind should be wholly on Buddy Murphy. Oh, <laughs> he moved. He missed that move. <clears throat> and luckily for Murphy, he had an opening for about a split second, but Black gets up and... Uh, squashes that opening like a bug and you know uh, black isn't gonna help him up out of the kindness of his heart he hits him with a kick to the side of the head send him up what could this be black mass Murphy is out one two three what a match by Alistair Black here in the ring now we have Matt Hardy. I can't do this anymore, he says. Am I broken or awoken? Am I valued or a loser? You're very much valued, sir. You don't understand how hard it is to be Matt Hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from commercial. We have a Braun Strowman taking on Seth Rollins now. And it looks like Rollins is going to meet him out halfway. They're going to brawl out there. Nope. Strowman says, now nah, we're going to take it back to the ring. They do. The match officially starts. And, uh, oh, what a counter there by Seth Rollins, who throws Braun Strowman into the corner. Oh, Strowman blocks it. Hits him with a couple of heavy hands. Holy soup bones, Batman. Rollins could be hurt. He's going to stomp away at Seth real quick oh what a clothesline there holy moly Strowman stalking his prey like a freaking lion out in the desert man might have hurt his shoulder there I doubt it though as a big old meat castle as he calls himself oh using his educated feet and hands oh <laughs> he ate some knee did Seth Rollins there and he's gonna go top rope oh no Rollins said no you're not and they're gonna brawl outside it looks like yes sir it's already starting oh oh Strowman with the right and the clothesline he's gonna go back to the top rope oh that dude can fly holy crap whoa former member of the Wyatt family is Braun Strowman. Oh boy. Look at this. Strowman is just taking him to school out there on the corner of the ring. Side of the ring. Picks him up. Slams him back down. Got the count of five. Six now. They don't care. Look at this. Seven. They have to the count of ten. Strowman throws him back in, finally. Both men to their feet. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the ref. Rollins went for him and missed. So Strowman hits him for his uh, efforts. Taunts him just a little bit. Picks him up. Throws him. Holy crap. Oh. He's going to scream to the audience. Dang, man. Oh, he missed. He's got Rollins against the rope. Close on his mount. Gonna go top rope again? Oh, he missed. <laughs> oh, my lord. They're just gonna keep beating each other up outside the ring. Oh, sack of potatoes. Bam. Right on his back. The lower lumbar region. Strowman breaks up the count. Goes for the ref? No? He's gonna taunt him again? Dang, brother. Oh, clothesline. Picks him up. Uh oh. Oh! He just planted him into the ring, setting him up again. Could it be? 
Oh, world's strongest power slam. Actually, a monstrous power slam. World's strongest slam belongs to Martin Henry. But that is a Braun Strowman victory. Making quick work of the man that once said he was the greatest wrestler alive. Hmm. Go Braun. All right, now in the ring, we have Becky Lynch taking on Asuka. Here comes the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. And it looks like they're going to go at it. Nice view of the crowd there. Asuka's ready. Becky is ready. And here we go. Becky comes flying out of the gates. Asuka's already out kicking her. Kicking her in the kidneys. Now in the gut. It's a tiny little woman. She ain't got any gut. Look at this. Oh, kicks her in the butt. Becky has her right where she wants her. She has never beaten Asuka in her career. And that could change tonight. Holy moly. They are going at it. What a move by Becky. I didn't know she could fly like that. Guess it's time to learn. Oh, she missed a stomp. She got her that time. And the stomp away at her chest and head. Oh! <laughs> In my head, I hear the Super Mario jump noise when I see her jump like that. She's gonna work away at uh, Asuka's arm. Oh! And wrench away at the neck. Oh, Asuka spun out. She didn't spin out of that, though. That was a heck of a drop kick. Still working away at the arm. Oh, she could be setting her up for the disarmer. One has to believe as she kicks away at the arm still. And another drop kick. Just keep her down. That's the best way to do it because she has some educated hands and feet too. Look at this. Becky with the Bex Bloater Suplex. As I like to call it, the Bexplex. Oh, still working away at the arm. She drags her into the corner of the ring. Closer to the middle, still working on the arm. Man, it's just going to be working on the arm. Look at this. Stomping away at the hands and the chest. She is not messing around. Oof, the suplex. Snapped her into the air. Oh, she missed that move though. Asuka has an opening. Oh! Clothesline after clothesline. Becky counters. Oh, and she gets a drop kicked right in the mush. Holy moly. What a main event. She has Becky right where she wants her. Oh! Oh my lord. One, two. Barely a two count. Becky kicks out. Bam! With the right. Oh, what a DDT. DDT in her DDT in her head straight into the mat. Trying to send her to hell. Oh my lord. Oh, she sets her up. Could it be is that disarm her? Yeah. Go. Come on, twist. Oh. Smacks her on the butt and moves her away. Becky counter that drop kick. And we are back. They're fighting outside where they uh, started to before the break. As Becky clotheslined her out there. She's going top rope now. Oh, Becky with the flying freaking fist. Double axe handle. Couldn't think of the word. Looking for a weapon is Becky. She gives up. Referee still counting. They have a 10 count to work with. Come on, Becky. Get her back in. This is just brutal. Come on. You have to get her back in. There you go. The 7 count. 8. 
Nine. Becky. Don't do it. Oh, Asuka's gonna get in. No, she didn't. Becky wins by a ten count. A win is a win. The drought is over. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show.